test mic. What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about our view. Alright, so this time around we are going to talk about creating and modifying our 3D views. Alright, so this lesson uh, describes how to create and modify 3D views. Alright, so we will be learning about the 3D view types and cameras and then after that, we're going to learn the steps to create and modify camera views and some recommended practices for creating and modifying our 3D views. So once again, this is Learning with Rich. So, right. So what will be the definition of our 3D view? All right. So a 3D view shows the building model from a point of view using a camera. So we will be using a camera later on. So the camera tool can be found here on our 3D drop down, you can see there the camera. Okay, so you can position the camera anywhere and create a 3D view of the model. So the direction of the camera is determined by uh, positioning the view target. And then we can also increase or decrease the angle of view of the camera by adjusting the side clipping boundaries of the view. So there are two types of camera views. So we have the perspective view and then the orthographic view. So first of all, what is this perspective views? All right, so perspective view displays the 3D view of an object as it appears through a lens from an eye or camera position. So in the perspective view, objects that are far from the camera appear smaller than objects of similar size that are closer to the camera. Okay, while the orthographic view displays the 3D view of an object from eye or camera position such that each point in the view is perpendicular to the viewing plane. So in an orthographic view, objects that are far from the camera are the same size as objects of similar size that are closer to the camera. So it's opposite of the perspective view. All right, so let us create our camera. All right, so let's create our camera. So what we are going to do, let's create first our uh, perspective view. And then after that, we are going to create our uh, orthographic view. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select the drop down arrow here to select the camera. All right, so I'm going to select the camera. And then after that, so as you can see here on our options bar, so we have an option if we, uh, if you want to create a perspective view or orthographic view. So if this is unchecked, that will going to be an orthographic view. If this is checked, you can see that it's a perspective view. Okay, and aside from that, for the perspective, as you can see, the scale here is disabled, so you will not be able to change that. And then we also have an option here to change the offset, the height of your... Uh, camera from the current level which is level 2 all right so the first thing that we are going to do like what is uh, being said here on our uh, status bar it says click to place the eye position at the cursor location so we're going to place first the eye position so what I'm gonna do is let's say I'm going to create a camera from from here just this portion here so I'm going to click here so that will going to be the eye position and then after that the view target okay so click to place the view target at the cursor location so i'm going to pick somewhere here click that one and then i will be able to create my camera view all right so as you can see it's now inside the building okay so if you go here on the view control bar so you can modify it okay so you can change here the detail level so if you still remember our last topic, so when the detail level is set to um, fine, if that is set to fine, nothing will change when it comes to our pipe and dock. But once I change this, for example, to medium, our pipe, like for example, this one, there's a pipe there. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. All right, so it's lugging. I'm just going to zoom in. All right, so that's a pipe, right? So if I'm going to change the detail level to 
medium, it will become a single line, right? So if we are going to change the detail level to coarse, the pipe as well as the duct will become single line, see? Right? Okay, so you can also use your view control bar here. Let me just change it back to fine. Of course, you can also change here the visual style. Let's say I want to make it shaded view. So that's the shaded view. So it's inside. So one thing that you can do here inside the, the camera view, of course, you can still select the boundary here and then you can adjust that if you want. So you will be adjusting the camera here manually. Okay, the angle of the camera. And... Take note that once you created a perspective view or a camera view, you'll be able to see that here as well on our project browser. If you see here, the name of our view is 3D View 1. And then the discipline is under Mechanical. And then the sub-discipline is under HVAC. So I'm just going to expand Mechanical, HVAC, 3D Views. Okay, just expand that. There you go. That's your camera, bu ca uh, camera view. So best practice, it would be better if you are going to rename that. So maybe you can put here a uh, hallway. For example, this is my hallway uh, perspective. Okay, so hallway perspective. So that is... Uh, best practice, always put a name on the camera that you are creating. So based on the definition, in our perspective view, objects that are far from the camera, like for example, uh, this um, lighting fixtures here, or this um, lighting fixture scans light, it appears smaller, right? than objects of similar size that are closer to the camera. So this is another lighting fixture. So this one is bigger than that of element, okay? So that's the perspective view. Objects that are far from the camera appear smaller than objects of similar size that are closer to the camera, okay? It's like an eye. So when you look in a road, or on a road, you can see that all those um, elements that is far appear smaller than the elements that of similar size that is close to you, right? So basically, that's your uh, perspective view. So another thing that you can do here is you can use your uh, navigation wheel here. So you have the navigation bar. So just in case you close your navigation bar accidentally and then you want to put it again or turn it on again. So you just need to go to uh, view, user interface, and then you can see there your navigation bar. So you can click that and then there you go. So you, I can click here the nav uh, full navigation wheel. So this is now my navigation wheel. So from here, I can orbit the view. <laughs> So I can orbit the view, as you can see, I can orbit it to different angle and you can also walk, right? So there's a walk, so only walk, so you can walk, so you can see how the building looks like. So it takes a lot of practice for you to be able to master the walk tool because sometimes user tends to forward it and it really makes the viewing fast okay it moves the view quickly when you suddenly forward your 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 mouse okay so it takes a lot of practice so you can use the move or i mean the walk tool and also you can look it's like you are standing inside and then looking around okay right looking for clashes looking for some discrepancy all right so that's your look and also you can center your view like for example you want to center somewhere here so you can move your uh, steering wheel here and then you can click center then it will become center right okay and then you can also move up and down up and down okay you can go to different level so you can move up and down okay so that's the use of our navigation wheel so you can pan your drawing just like that and then you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, okay? Zoom in, zoom out, okay? So this is our perspective view, 
Okay, so let's go back to our level 2 HBAC plan. So this time around, we are going to create our orthographic view. Okay, orthographic view uh, it displays the 3D view of an object from an eye or camera position such that each point in the view is perpendicular to the viewing plane. So what is uh, orthographic view? This one is uh, our uh, perspective view, right? So the orthographic view is just this one. You open your 3D view, you click that, and there you go. So this is now a orthographic view. Okay, let me just uh, close this one. Do not crop the view and then this one. Okay. Alright, so this is your orthographic view. So this view is orthographic. So as you can see in our orthographic view, okay, on our orthographic view, objects that are far from the camera, for example, these objects here are the same size as the objects of similar size that are closer to the camera, right? So they are just the same size. Okay, it's different from the per, uh, from the perspective. Okay, so orthographic view. This is how it looks like. So objects that are far from the camera are same size as objects of similar size that are closer to the camera. Okay, so that's our uh, orthographic view. Okay, as you can see a while ago, there is another option here for our camera, wherein you can create. A view that is non-perspective so it, it it looks like something like an elevation view orthographic or elevation view so I can uncheck this one so let's say I'm gonna pick from here first point and by the way you can also specify the scale here if perspective is unchecked okay so I'm going to click there you go so this is how it looks like okay so there's your camera view, non-perspective. Okay, so this is in 3D as well because there's a view cube. So you can still orbit your model like that. Okay. All right. So what else that can we do on our 3D view? On our 3D view, you can also use your section box. Okay, so aside from creating your your perspective view and orthographic view so you can also use your section box to adjust your 3d okay to view your model so i'm going to check here the section box so i'm gonna check that one okay and then just zoom out so you can see now here a section box so the idea here is you can use your view cube to go to different sides of your building and then you can click the section box and then you can adjust that. So let's say you want to see this view, okay, like this. So you want to crop your model just like that, right? Okay, so let's say I go to the top view so I can adjust that. Just adjust, just adjust, just, okay, there you go. Then you can also adjust from here. There you go, right? So maybe what I can do is I can just drag this little. So I can see the model there. Okay, so you can use your uh, section box. Again, it would be better if you save the view. Okay. So you just need to um, save the view for this one. All right. So way to view your model is by, um, okay, so aside from naming it, so by the way, if you are going to rename this one, let's say this is your uh, orthographic view, orthographic view using your section box. So if you want to create another orthographic view, 3D, so you just need to click again the default 3D view. It will create another view. See, it creates another view. Okay, so another way to create 3D view, aside from using your camera, aside from using your section box, is you can use your uh, selection box. Selection box is like, you just need to select the object. That's it. Like, for example, do you want this in 3D view, only this, or 
some of the elements including let's say for example this duct here so i'm going to hold the control to select that as well okay then after that you can see here there's a view panel there's your selection box it isolates selected elements in the current view or the default 3d view so i'm going to select this one just click that so as you can see it will isolate that element okay so it is more uh, faster if you are going to use the section box, right? So again, you can save the view for that one. Okay, just rename this and then you can save the view. For example, this is your, uh, what, uh, mechanical equipment. Okay, so mechanical equipment. Enter. Okay, and then you can create another view here. Okay, let's say, for example, I go to the front view. Okay, and then I'll just select some elements here. For example, that one. And then I want that to isolate using the selection box. So I just click that one. And there you go, right? It's so fast. So all you have to do is to select the objects or the elements. And then you can use your selection box. Just don't forget to rename the view so that you'll be able to save it. That is one of the best practice that you need to remember. Okay, so some tips in creating and modifying the 3D view. So you, for using a camera, so make sure you place your camera far enough from the building model when placing a camera for a perspective view. So that the field of view lines uh, show what you want to see in the view. So placing the camera too close to the model creates severe angles that may be unrealistic or may not reveal the perspective view. Okay, so if you place the camera further away, it will be easier to adjust the view. Okay, so there it goes. So there's our orthographic view, our... Uh, perspective view, and then we also have the cutaway 3D model using our uh, selection box and then we also have this using our selection box as well so that is our uh, HVAC layout okay so these are the views that we have created so another best practice so place a camera in a plan view just like what we did carefully so that you are aware of the level you are working on so because initially the level determines the height of the camera so by doing this this reduces the chance of unexpected results in the camera view so right so you can change the camera level later if required so no problem with that okay and another thing again you can use your uh, view control bar here right after you create your camera to edit the display uh, properties of our 3d view okay and then lastly like what we did so save or rename the default 3d view to retain the camera position uh, changes because if you are not going to do this your work could be lost when you close the file so creating named orthographic views or perspective views is a quick method to provide multiple views for a design review. All right, so there you go. So that's our topic for creating and modifying our 3D view. So we use our camera, we use our section box, we use our selection box, and then we can also use our view control bar as well as our uh, navigation wheel. Okay, so... Once again, this is Learning with Rich. If you have any que uh, questions, comments, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.